George Floyd, Derek Chauvin. These two names are forever historically, spiritually linked as a tragic, inhumane injustice. Because justice is a spiritual concept. And without a God conscience, justice cannot ever prevail. When individuals do not know the spiritual lawgiver, it is impossible for them to justly enforce man-made laws. The public police execution of George Floyd shocked the moral conscience of the world and raised a spiritually profound moral question, how could such a public display of law enforcement injustice exist in the greatest democracy the world has ever known? Moreover, human rights are the cornerstone of American democracy, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. American history is characterized by racial injustice and racial violence, even though America is guided by the most profound spiritual governing document that the world has ever known, the U.S. Constitution. Hence, we all know that only God can judge motive, even though in courtrooms, prosecutors attempt to assess motives indirectly by analyzing actions. Question, what would motivate a police officer in his official capacity to openly and public scrutiny commit a brutal, inhumane murder while onlookers beg him to stop? Is the spiritual answer to this question grounded in personalized grudge hatred? Officer Chauvin was not the initial arresting officer on the scene of a nonviolent crime. He only went to the criminal scene after hearing over the police dispatch system the name George Floyd. Hence, upon arrival, Chauvin, being the senior level officer, took charge of the criminal scene. The question of questions is, what is it about the name George Floyd that triggered such an ungodly, violent response in Chauvin, reasonable minds must conclude that Floyd's death was not a criminal offense or effective policing, but a paycheck and a payback grudge crime under the cloak of policing law enforcement. Here's why. We know that Chauvin and Floyd knew each other from a nightclub work-related environment as security guards. Therefore, we can surmise that some type of incident occurred between the two men that triggered in Chauvin hatred towards Floyd. Since he took advantage of his policing authority at the scene of the nonviolent criminal crime. This provided him, Chauvin, with an opportunity to revenge or to pay back and consequently resulted in the death of Floyd. No doubt about it. Chauvin has a deprived, depraved mindset because when an individual is defenseless and begging for his life, Ian crying out for his deceased mother, and you continue to perform an execution-style posturing because you have the police power to do so, there is ungodly depravity in you. The individuals who watched were so horrified, defenseless, and guilt-ridden that they could not defend Floyd against such in inhumane treatment by a police officer that they called the police on the police. What a shame. 
What then can we say concerning these things? Except God sits high and looks low. And if a man thinks he is something because of a title, he deceives himself. Because God is not marked for whatsoever a man soweth, this he will also reap. Galatians chapter 6, verses 7.